Hello, everybody. I think I'm almost ready to get started. Welcome, Murphy. Hopefully you're doing well. The games have been treating you well as well. So I guess we'll do... I guess a warm-up TTF and then see who's around. And then presumably we'll do multiplayer of some sort. It is XP week. We do know the RBR for the Episode 2 quest is a lot of fun. But I think I'd prefer the Episode 2 quest before people. And depending on how many people are around, I might break out one of the newer characters and level them up. Otherwise, I guess we'll establish a baseline for Solo Hunter. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. I was gonna say, it's a good feeling. OBS hasn't crashed recently. They didn't update it. Whatever whatever they did broke whatever I had forever. So, at least since I've removed it, it seems to be behaving. We're continuing onwards with the Sonic soundtracks. See, this is Sonic Runners. Uh... I guess I could do some solo Red ID stuff. Thank you, Murphy, for subscribing. With Prime Gaming, it says free stuff. Yeah, it is pretty much free stuff. Thank you again. Appreciate the support. We're gonna see what they have on them. Ooh, that's not enough money, I think, to do solo. Oh, well, no, 262. I'm sorry. I, I read that it's just 26,000. That I can maybe do. Yeah, the downside of, like... I guess we'll talk a little bit about Hunters, since I don't play Hunter a lot. We'll talk about one of their pitfalls. Well, a couple pitfalls. So, one, Hunters and Rangers get really expensive if you play them solo, just due to the fact that they have a lot of money usage items. So things like Charge Arms or Jaya, for example, can really eat through your money, unless you play multiplayer. Welcome in Parameter. I find when I'm in multiplayer, I usually go pretty much even without selling items, and I'm not usually as worried about it. But when I'm in single player, like, I might spend 20 to 30,000 Meseta on a quest to beat a quest. Which is, you know, it sounds like a lot, but honestly a lot of quest rewards give you about that much. I'm not even talking about the heals. I lose it all through charge. All of it through charge. <laughs> That's where I'm learning to use more berserks to kind of counteract that. Oh, I forgot to get my weapons. Oops. Like, trimates are nothing compared to the 40k Jaya <laughs> doing a boss rush. It's like, holy, you go bankrupt so fast. And healing items are cheaper than force fluids. So, I, I think from that standpoint, forces go from one of the most expensive early game classes to really cheap. So, if you just play a lot of force, you just end up making money because you just barely spend anything. Pass, it could be kind of annoying because you might not have the right buffs. So... Depending on how well geared you are, you might end up using a lot of charge to kill an enemy, for example. Wait a minute. Who ha- Does my blue ID have my other item? Darn it, hold on, we gotta swap out real quick. Yeah, hunter hunters can go broke really quick. So I wanted to talk about that. And the other thing that kind of makes them tricky is uh, Dark Flow. So I saw a- uh, We'll leave it at interesting post. <laughs> Talking about uh, the etiquette of using Dark Flow in a group. And whether or not it's polite to ask people to not rest to you. And as a streamer, it's very easy for me to say, like, it's it's my game, I'm hosting, my rules kind of thing. But I do think, like, the expectation if I go into public games is that people will probably accidentally rest to you at some point. It's not even, like, malicious. Like, they're... It's just habit. This is how a lot of people heal. So I think, like, the counterbalance is, like, the expectation of using Dark Flow in, like, a stream game versus, like, a public game in particular. A stream game usually, you know, it might happen once or twice. I generally don't need to bring up a lot of backups. But for a lot of people that are new to the game, and just for the fact that they just don't want to use Trimates, etc. For that, I just want to make sure this character has it. Yeah, they have it. Okay. You know, my expectation is, like, just bring counterplay items. Usually it's not, like, a huge deal. I thought it was a little... A little crazy to ask for people to pay for... 
healing if you play with a Dark Flow player. I saw that take. That was interesting. But I think in general, I mean, it just, I think it's good etiquette just from the standpoint of if you're playing with a lot of cast friends to just carry healing items, even if you don't use them, so you could give them the trimates. And kind of similarly for forces, you just give tri fluids if you happen to see them. Because those are the, where the money sink might occur. You might be spending like 14 to 16k on healing. Unless you're like really well geared kind of thing. And again, if, you, if you're trying to restock something like Star Atomizers, then it definitely goes up from there. Compared to just restocking trimates and dimates and maybe a couple moons. But yeah, I think every class has their expenses, but yeah, I, I think Hunter in particular, they don't really have the luxury of getting to say, oh, I get to play this quest without this. It's like, no, 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 like Hunter needs Dark Flow to hit certain enemy types, especially if they go airborne. They need to be able to Berserk because that's where all of their main weapons damage usually comes from in terms of specials. Rangers have more choices with it, so it's a bit... You know, like, Charge Arm is a classic, but, I mean, there are other alternatives for Room Clear. It's really good, don't get me wrong. But, like, you're more likely to have options than your Hunter Friend. Hunter Friend is just kind of a... They're out of luck. <laughs> they are so out of luck. They're like, oh, all, all of my rare weapons are Berserk or, or Charge. And they don't really benefit from anything in between. So they gotta be real careful when they're Excaliburing, for example. They don't have that luxury of Quick Resta. So a lot of a lot of easy mistakes might lead to a lot of uh, great sacrifices escape dolls. I think we're almost done with the soundtrack. See, so yeah, I thought it was kind of an interesting take. I thought I would just kind of mention it briefly from the standpoint where if you're playing Solo Hunter, literally expect to spend three to four times as much. But if you stick to mostly just like boss quests, it's not as bad. It really just depends, honestly, how much you use Jaya. Like, I'm going to play this character and you're going to see like pretty much all my money loss is from Jaya. And unfortunately, I have to use a lot of it because I don't have a buff. So it's like I'll eventually go into cheaper options like financially. I don't have like a good Excalibur, for example, at the moment on this character. I have to unlock one. But yeah, welcome Hellcleave. Hundred gets a choice of no special spend billions of a setup with Jaya or Berserk yourself to hundred. That, that's a pretty accurate statement. It's kind of uh, the hunter life, as it were. I think I got everything. Oh, I guess I should bring Girasol. That's also kind of the annoying thing about Hunter. They just have so many weapons they have to carry. <laughs> it's like Ranger, Cannon Rouge, Charge Arm, Heaven Striker, done. <laughs> I, I'm like, that covers everything. There's your budget, budget ranger. You don't need these other things. The Girasol. Yeah, I gotta practice with, like, red handgun kills. So I was gonna test it out a little bit. I've, like, I picked up a 20% machine red handgun a while ago. I'm not quite sure how to shoot the monitors in single style. I literally have not done it in, like, years. I've never bothered... Is this like the first time I've done solo TTF with this character? Usually I play in like a two man and I don't bother. I tried learning with Drill Launcher, but it just did not click with me at all. I might go back to it in the future, but as I said before, it really did not click with me. I think I would have to watch somebody do it and with the controller's points active. Just because like there's there's such a weird delay you have to put on it. It doesn't feel natural to do. Kind of like if you just hit power, 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 like that feels fine, but it's like you got to do like like normal, special, delay, special, but like that timing feels really awkward. I'm not a big fan. Hellcleave clarifying, there's also useful overall items like Jizai, Great Weapon, Daylight Scar, Zamba, which is kind of a Berserk Sword. And Yun Chang, which is the Berserk Partisan. I do. I wish I got better Yun Changs, honestly. I got, like, a lot of zeroed ones from gambling. Like, a disgusting amount from gambling. And then I got Astron belts from gambling, if I recall correctly. And then I got a 50-hit Astron belt from something. I want to say it's a Christmas present. So that's on my Fomar forever. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just kind of like one of those weird choices. Sounds like the soundtrack stuff. I was listening for that. It threw me off. Let's go ahead and put on another soundtrack real quick. Rip Sonic Runners, you were sure. Um... Actually, I don't think it really matters in the beginning. I thought about it, but I'm like, I think the time it takes for me to lower my HP if I'm not berserking, because I was talking to chat and I'm thinking about that at the time, was uh, I might as well just walk up Vice and then Dark Flow. I don't think it really matters. Yeah. I definitely want it for the next phase, though. Yeah, we want this for sure. So my 45, since I almost never used it besides for leveling who cast, but since I want to play who cast, it wasn't enough. Hmm. Oh, I almost got the timing. It's slightly too late. And then we take our safety heal here, because I always get clipped by that stupid attack. When I get when I get higher health totals, maybe I'll survive that. I just know from experience in multiplayer, if if the thing takes off, I'm taking damage with Dark Flow. It's just kind of an if-then statement. Which again, not something you really have to worry about in multiplayer. I'll take the dummy. Uh sure, I'll quit red handgun for now. Forget any with Hedo Keeper for you, maybe. Yeah, just figure I'd try it out. Honestly, Drill Launcher was not going anywhere. I tried like three times in a row and it was just, it was horrible. I could not stun lock at all. Like I landed it, it just it just wasn't timed well enough to stun lock. So there's no point to it if I can't stun lock consistently. Honestly, Red Hand Gun's so strong, I just do this. Alright, we're still gonna we're still gonna slime dupe, don't mind me. This is red ID. Checkmate. You know what made me sad though, Hell Cleave? I was playing this literally earlier today. And I finally got Red ID Hilda Tour to show up. No Artista Stone. <laughs> it was so sad. It was like, it was like, it finally came. I finally got rewarded for patience. The game is like, nah, he didn't earn it. I was like, damn, you're right. I got it in TTF of all things, which I thought was funny. Anyway, we're just gonna slime dupe a little bit. I did actually get a lot of Easter eggs, I think, off stream doing this with the slime dupes. <laughs> Speaking of which, do you see what I mean? Damn, slime dupe's so good there. Love slime dupe. So, anyway. I'm really fast I could kill this before the other guy turns around. I don't feel like fighting those two. Just feel like whatever. Takes too much time. I'll throw these down just because I can, not because I think I'll get a kill. If this was multiplayer and I was waiting for somebody, I would probably get a kill here. Maybe that Melqueek will die before I hit the warp. Okay, it did. Invincibility. Say goodbye to like 80,000 Meseta because I don't do enough damage. This is where I need to get like an upgrade for this, or just like straight up use Excalibur. Watch my money disappear, chat, in real time. Also, I need to find a better position with the Partisan. I'm not used to swinging with it as much. I'm gonna save some money here and choose not to burn another 10,000. A little greedy, but rip my money. That is so satisfying to do with uh, actual buffs, though. Throw a couple of these out there. Uh, I thought about that. I guess I'll pick this up. I so rarely get anything interesting from Worm. I'm just used to skipping it as a red ID, honestly. So here's what I like to do. Just gonna make sure that they hit each other for a little bit. You know, I'll put a little fire trap in there just because. Have fun.
Dime me. Sure, I'll use it. Sorry to hear that uh, Storm has knocked out things for you, Murphy. It's good seeing you around, though. Uh, this is probably fine. Or it'll go off like a slightly too late. That sucks. That's fine, though. Fortunately, Red ID doesn't really need to farm Sinos. So mostly there and gone. Yeah, Hunter also has kind of the awkward position of the- I don't have a weapon that hits the dump switch. Or at least I don't think I have one that pierces the wall. I'll take the damage here. Oh, that's right. Last one is jank. I forgot about it. Oh, last one, please. I need to relearn to do that. So if Chad is wondering what happened there, the freeze trap took the target of last one, and that causes you to not hit the trap because last one is jank. So I didn't hit the trap, and I didn't hit my target, which was kind of bad news. That's better. Must have been stuck in single-player games, or anything stuff for the last couple days. Oh, right here, then Murphy. Yeah. I'm still kind of working out single player hunter. I so rarely, do, I, I basically never do it with a uh, cast, except it when I was trying to learn the drill launcher. That was pretty much it. So I know I should just shoot the little mini screens. I'm not sure how to hit the lower one by default. It's not something you think about after using spread eagle all that time. Oops, I did it too slow. did pop that in my defense. Like that sideways freeze. So I still get like the triple monitor roughly, but I still gotta get used to actually using red handgun. See, the problem is like, if you do the triple shot there, it actually does enough damage that I can't hit it again. So that's where I have to kind of get used to this. Because I missed the other screen, I need to do one more. Yeah. That's fine. We're learning. Also, Hulk Leave, I need to figure out a better boss weapon for Vault Op. Vivian is okay, but it just doesn't have the percents, is the problem. Excalibur would be nice, but I don't have a spare one. Just get Brave Man. I'd have to see if this character could get a 13. I have one, I just need to actually equip it. Yeah. That was unfortunate. Uh, we're gonna dodge this in real time. Give me a second. The time waster attack is here. Through that. Yeah, like I have okay percents with it. I think the problem is, like, I don't have, like, single-player confidence with Dark Flow. Like, I'll give an example. If I'm just sitting there in, like, multiplayer versus Vault Op, I will generally try to drain my HP while I'm there. But if I then have to also pop the monitors, it's like... I don't know. If I don't have a consistent monitor break, I don't really want to be low on HP. So I'm kind of, like, in a catch-22. Like, I have a weapon, but I don't have a way to, like, get into it because the monitors are still kind of a problem for me. Like, once monitors are solved, and I get one that works as well as, like, Excalibur, Gazan kind of thing, then it's fine. Then I have Dark Flow for that boss. But in single player, I don't have a lot of time to set that up. And I don't really want to be doing Vice on that boss if I can avoid it. Yeah, sadly I don't have Excal for this character. I need to unlock it. Actually, I'm going to confuse them. In single player, it's better to confuse if you want the XP. So we just got a free kill. Almost killed all of them there. If I'd used the right trap the first time, I think they would have died. 
I mean, I killed two Arlins with like literally zero effort. Speaking of which. Yeah, Vivian's okay. I just wish it had... Actually, I don't need anything in that room. I take that back. I thought I left something behind and I looked at the item reader again. I'm like, never mind. I thought about going back for that rest of 20, if chat was curious. I did like picking up raw moral items. <laughs> then I saw the word miss, and I'm like, oh, that was in the uh, vault up room. By Indie Bell Road. Thank you, last one. I don't think I have enough ATP for Red Handgun to kill the spinners in one shot. I'll try it. I, I don't think it'll do enough. I think it'll be like 235-ish damage, if I had to guess, based on my ATP. Let's see how close my guesstimate is. It definitely will It will not kill unless it crits. I'll put it that way. But I'm just kind of curious for damage comparison purposes since we're doing a video. I'm kind of thinking about a charge disc there, but the problem is, like, again, it's a very expensive solo run. So, like, I'm definitely more inclined to try Berserk, for sure. Yeah, see, it takes two. 222, 232. It's pretty close. Uh, I want to stay kind of in the front of it, which is a little different than I'd like to do with the other characters. I'd like to, I'd like to pop it, like, right here if I can. I missed. Two fifty HP in solo. Yeah, unfortunately, it just it doesn't do enough damage. You can still got robbed in the ATP department. Did did she seriously not shoot that? And please, what's the point of the triple shot if it's not gonna hit the spinner? I kind of want the boss to injure me a little bit. I'm kind of okay with this. Yeah, that's fine. If I'm lucky, I could just walk up and one-shot the boss. More or less. So I need one gear assault. If I see the boss is doing the slow-mo thing. See what they do. And if I do need to heal, I'm not that, that low either. Of course. See, like, I literally would- I was preparing to swap into Gearasol there, if chat was curious. So I would have just Dark Flowed the boss. Him, please, or Berserked. Well, now it's too late. On the plus side... Let's see if I dodge this. I did. Thank you, Cardinal Directions. Relative to the boss, of course. I think this enemy is dead. I don't need to do anything special. Yeah, one thing I have to get used to with Hunter in addition is... Uh, I don't like the short range of Vice. See, normally I would just Yash Minikov it full screen. So it's like kind of going from that Ranger mentality back to Hunter. Where like I feel like I should probably be using Vice a little more. I'm mostly waiting to get hit in the face first. There we go. Could have maybe popped it there. Let's pop it here, actually. Wow, I got short cycled. That is unfortunate. Big, big frowny face to the short cycle chat. Well, let's be some iframes in single player. So as long as I keep running, I should be able to dodge the grants or the laser attack. One of the above will happen. That's fine. Dodge both. Thank you, iframes. Oh, I was about to vice, but uh. Oh, hello. Oh, so close. Are you really gonna double? Sh oh, jeez. That is a waste of time. Goodbye, my resources. I almost dodged the lasers. I gotta get used to like what the exact angle is of movement there. Okay, I had a feeling I didn't put the ball that falls at half health. That's why I did a safety heal there.
Wow. <laughs> so unlucky. Can I please get a long cycle so this fight will end? Like in some reasonable time? Perish. Where was my long cycle chat? Jeez. Yeah, I'm not really worried about being soul linked with Berserk if chat is curious. I super don't care. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, go ahead, soul link me. I know there's a delay. You're not gonna kill me with that. Get out of here. Multiplayer, maybe that would kill me. Oh, I got mesetted. GG. So yeah, I definitely think this character will benefit from swapping in like an Excal for sure on Vault Op. I think with like this one is some of it is confidence i'm not worried about dying to spinner on the first phase like keeping dark flow in it's more like i don't trust the aiming when it comes to falls like i'll just target a spinner randomly instead of the boss for example and i'll just whiff big damage that's more what i'm worried about So some of that will come with like learning where exactly to end the fight so that way I can trim it down to like a 1430 run or something comparatively. Yeah that that quadruple short cycle was gross. Love your streams and knowledge. I'm so glad to see love for the game finally back online. Welcome to Windcrab. Hope you're doing well. So yeah like money wise <clears throat> you know if you're replacing all your trimates it's like yeah, potentially 20,000, but honestly, all my money went to Jaya. But you'll notice if I play this character in multiplayer, I only use about 20, maybe 30,000. Because honestly, one boss will die before I really get to special more than three times. So it's like, if you're with a strong group and the DPS is there, your money costs go way down. It's kind of a plus side. So anyway, I just wanted to show comparatively. Is shout up to doing one quick TTF run as a comparison. I'm gonna play this character again. Just thinking if I want to put away anything. I have one escape doll. It's probably fine. Sort my items, equip my vice. Just looking to see if I have any spare items that would be worthwhile. I do have a charge disc uh, with 40% machine. I do kind of want that actually. Let me put away Rainbow Baton for now. Because I'm going to be using it in a similar scenario anyway. See, so I do have Disco of Brave Man, some with Machine. So it's not that I don't have them, I just don't have a 13 on this character. Oh, Kunai is so fun. I love Kunai. Murphy says I'll try to play TTF, but I don't know if my owner will play nice. Maybe. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess the best way to frame it is that I'm literally spending for four people instead of one. And I think Murphy also hit it in a different way because that's how I view it. I literally have like a quarter of the cost in multiplayer. So if a quest gives 20,000 and I pick up like three armors, I'm usually pretty money neutral. Also, thank you for the follow Guardian Angel too. Got to give you a shout out. Slack in there. New player here, saw your gods on YouTube, including your popper gun, recommended quests. I have a question about drop D parts version one. Okay, sure. What about uh the D parts? Some are kind of like uber rare hunts, and those are kind of like if you happen to land it, they're good. So I'm assuming you're talking about D parts 1.01, which is like one of the better armors you can acquire. Drop D is for guitarists, that's true. Yeah, fortunately that specific one isn't too bad. There's there's the um, S parts, I was trying to remember which was which for a moment. That's the shield that gives accuracy and that is really hard to get. But D parts are not as hard to get. I think we did the... Uh... Oh, that really awful retrieval quest. <laughs> Chat knows which one I'm talking about. The, the, this, the spooky light quest that I hate. <laughs> we'll look for it in a moment. We're not playing the spooky quest. 
Guardian Angel 2. I'm playing QCast and it's best to kill the bulk left from the first room and line me back or full clear. Or which quest? I, I don't know what quest you're doing for that. If you're doing the spook, spooky light show three floor ruin quest, uh, I just clear the whole first area. I don't, I don't clear the whole quest. I clear the first floor when I do that quest. But there's there's a couple. You don't have to do like a full full clear. There's a couple rooms you could skip if you're not intending to go to second floor. Yeah, memory from Rogal or something. We'll we'll check the name real quick. I, I I'll recognize it, unfortunately. Because I was like, oh, I really like the concept of the quest, and then I get to floor two, and I'm like, hmm, I don't know if I like this. Then I get to floor three, and I was like, who hurt you? <laughs> I don't recommend a full clear of that quest. That quest is horrendous. But the first the first floor of it is really good. I usually kill like as I said before, I just kind of grind out the whole first floor. But don't actually, like, leave, leave. Unless I'm just looking to grab items and sell, then I'll make that decision. Hold on, getting an error might need to skip me if I can't fix it in a minute or two. Have you updated any of the mods again, Murphy, since you last played? So I think there was a patch update. Oh, I can't check the quest list yet. So we'll try a slightly different set of items. Obviously, I don't need red handgun in multiplayer. I mean, I can slow up the initial thing for other players. Yeah. I think they changed that last year? Yeah, I was gonna say. I was trying to think when you were last here. It has been a while, so it's possible if you never updated the mods. Because it'll be like, enemy reader, not compatible, blah blah blah. So it'll still run, kind of. Yeah, this is the other thing I was talking about, the S parts. I had to think, they're they're very similarly named. At least a couple of months, true, true. Is there anybody else looking to hop in for some TTF? I think Mur we'll give Murphy a couple minutes. Sucks is melee, because once they grab me, they turn to Bulks and Claws. Uh, if you use a Vulcan with Hue Cast, they generally should never grab you. Or, or Slicer at max distance. And that's not even abusing things like Charge. If you're trying to melee them, that would probably be why. I would view Hugh Cast more as a uh He I like to call him the Vulcan specialist. Vulcan and Slicers, he loves his machine guns. And then AoE damage. It's kind of counterintuitive because the game tries to push hunters as melee and they really barely melee, to be real with you. Yeah. I think that's also the big misconception. A lot of players will pick Hunter and think melee, and there's like, there's nothing inherently wrong with it. It's not your fault. The game shows the art of like four characters, and then like Big Scythe Hue Cast is like one of the characters, but like Machine Gun is like their best weapon. <laughs> it's not your fault. P Sega lied to you. Is my add ons 2023 up to date? I think so. Yeah, because, like, the reason behind it, for, for chat that is not aware of this, is that uh, if you have a really high ATP class as, like, Hunter, you benefit more from multi-hits because you have more ATP to apply per hit. So we'll use guns like Last Swan, for example, which is a three-shot pistol, which is basically like a fast-shooting Vulcan. Or we'll use Vulcan literally, so we'll do um, MN60 Vices. Or M&A 60 Vice, which is Vulcans. And the reason is, it's just so we can just apply the ATP a lot. There are situations where you will melee. Like, if there's not... Did we get an ad? What? What happened? What? What? <laughs> I think that... I think something's wrong with the playlist. I don't know how it started playing something else. The chat did say Wrapped in Black earlier. That was the name of the song. I'm not sure why it did that. That was weird. Let's try this again. One moment. We'll go back to that thought. But yeah, there are situations in which you will do melee with hunters. Don't get me wrong. Like, there's... If you know where their spawns are, you will often be able to combo kill if you can stand where they spawn and just hit them from behind. So you'll see that with advanced strats. 
Oh, is it just like a really short playlist? I guess it's a really short playlist. All right, we'll move on to the next one. Did I re-roll as a Hue Castile? No, I wouldn't recommend that. So Hue Cast is very powerful. They're probably the strongest class in the game. They're ridiculously stupid good. Hue Castile, her problem is like low health, low stats. She's kind of an awkward single player class. Like you can do it, but she definitely doesn't excel like Hue Cast would, or like a well-equipped Broadcast, or Ramar or Ramarl or the forces. Yeah, so it's like you'll still play them for ATP. There's not really a character that uses melee and high level play. Aside from like really specific scenarios, as I said before. Like you'll if you're fighting like a mini boss creature, you might have a daylight scar, or you might use Excalibur versus bosses, for example. So there's like situations you will melee, but it's not like if I see a room of four enemies, my gut instinct is to walk up and partisan them. Usually you'll slice or revolt in them, depending on the group. No worries, Hellcleave. So we'll give Murphy a couple minutes. I'm not sure if Imperameter was still around and wanted to hop in, or Twin Crab if you wanted to hop in. Sell those five Heaven Strikers. Oh, yeah. Did you want some of mine, Hellcleave? While we're here, I think I have them in my share bank. No worries, Twin Crab. Need two for my mags. Thank you, Hulkly. Just appreciating for now, no problem. Uh, let's. I was gonna say, I got them. Oh, I'm out of room. The Hunter Curse, always out of room. Let's put away the red handgun and. I don't even know. Escaped all. Lantis is here. I'll drop for Hellcleave. There you go. If you need a dragon scale, I don't have it in the share bank. Oh. Welcome, welcome. You're looking something up, it says in parameter, no worries. Do you play solo at the moment, though? I feel like it's a, not a bad thing to enjoy the game at your own pace. I think I was asked very recently on PSO whether I would ever do a fresh account 1 to 80. So I figured I'd address it on stream. The short answer is no. I don't think I really want to go through and experience that again, personally. Maybe we'll do challenge mode stuff in the future. Yeah, it's just like things like rare item hunts or leveling alt characters, just so much faster in groups. Like if I'm doing boss rushes, like sometimes I'll get like 13 minute solo runs. But if you play multiplayer, you get like 10 minute runs and it's like, oh, it's so fast. It's so hard to say no. Yeah, like definitely play if you're interested in the story, play whatever you need to do. Although sadly, when I say that, realizing story is multiplayer <laughs> in the... PC version of this game versus being single player like it was on GameCube. I always forget that. Okay, let's see how this does. That's pretty good damage. Just gotta back up a little more next time. Hopefully that freeze trap will go off. It did basically what I wanted. Don't mind me, just losing all my HP. No! Well, that's just rude. Rude. No worries. Good luck at work, Guardian Angel. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of uh, quality of life updates to this game. And I think it makes the journey to get to 80 a lot better. I realize I did not get invincibility. That really sucks, actually. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's kind of like the the the, the high level play versus like public games are kind of wild. Just like how much stuff you could get away with when people are fully geared. I didn't get the timing again. Unfortunate. Got it that time, sort of. Like being in the right position to take down like a Goron Detonator in episode four with like a nearly all cast party is kind of funny to watch. Or you'll see the crazy melee range swaps of uh, people doing tower solo. Where people factor in fire trap mid combo in order to do enough damage to combo kill Ilgil. Like there's some very interesting things to see in like true high level play. Let Hell Cleave do that. I want the slime. Come here, slime buddy. I need to purge you in fire. That's what friendship is. Taking that fire trap for me and duplicating. What a beautiful friend. Remember the Brumoffs version even before Blue Burst? I'm not familiar with what that is. Goodbye, Ablily. Alright, so spoilers, I'm not gonna help with the clear. Just, I'm doing the greediest clear as I'm playing Red ID, so my strategy is I'm already done. I'm just gonna go dupe some slimes. If you want to help me dupe slimes, that's up to you, but I'm just gonna go for quick kill slimes. I'll come back in this room to kill them. <sighs> no rare slimes, so sad. It's dupe in time. Look how many slimes there are in chat. Look at that XP. We're 28,000, 31,000, 32,000, 35,000. Yeah, that's good. You like 7k XP. It's on really quick, easy kills. And the best part is we can come back and help the team when we're done. Nice guilty light. See that? Although I could have put a telepipe down, I guess, before going this way. Oh, well, I think I have literally one left. Yeah, you have literally one left. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, so that way team can telepipe to me. Uh, I think it really matters what I have here, so I'll charge this guy. If I get healed here, I don't usually use Dark Flow here. I don't really care if I get healed. I'm just assuming I'm not going to get Mag Invincibility. <laughs> just, I, I resigned my fate. My invincibility on this character is so bad on this boss. Speaking of which... I never have a chat. 80, 85% got it 0% of the time. Actually, unreal. Am anyway, I gonna touch that side of the raft to dodge the attack? Little, little fun tidbit for you. I think it's help. Why did it target Lantis? I thought it targeted the character who had the least health. But. Oh! Because Hellcleave waited to- oh, well... When did Hellcleave injure himself relative to the boss? I guess I'll go rewatch that later. So anyway, the trick is... <laughs> if you have low HP, it'll target you. I believe. I believe it's a HP check. I could be thinking of it in verse. But it's, it's not random, I'll put it that way. I thought for sure it was going to target me, or Hellcleave. Not the Force. But I guess if Hellcleave was at full health... Would have left it like that. Oh well. Such is life. Just kind of like one of those general observations. I th think it's that. When you play solo, it's hard to tell. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm like, I wonder who the boss will target single person on Raft. Um, uh, yeah, these are pretty skippable. I think I'm gonna bring out Vice. So here's an example. If you had, like, a really strong melee weapon, you could just burst the Sinnoh down. Versus using guns. I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple freeze traps down. Uh-oh. Team is stuck back there. I don't have another telepipe for the team, so I need the team to join me. There we go. 
I'm gonna go ahead and freeze trout. <laughs> and then I'm out of there. <laughs> oh, I'm not dealing with that. That's that. That's team's problem. There we go. So, like, in theory, I could gear assault this fight, but given that I'm not going to be the one that does damages the monitors, this will be interesting. I think Hell Cleave has Galatine out to try to Gazond it, if I had to guess. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope this character doesn't have a VA to Wonder Loan you. Also, did something very wrong. Yeah, the only downside to playing Cass... Uh, come, downside to playing Cass is the one. Um... What would be the backup? Do I do I need to go grab Red Handgun? Is this happening? Twin Blaze. Okay, I'll go back. I think I have a Twin Blaze in the bank. So I'll just spam it repeatedly. So I will just use it repeatedly. I don't think I've ever used Twin Blaze in this fight before. This will be interesting. See, today we're learning. See, I think if, uh, as long as whoever is using techniques on it has high ATP, we should be good. Also, that's an interesting visual glitch. <laughs> See the left-hand side of the screen? Oops. Nice bug. So we'll see. Vulcans is not a lot of TP, or not a lot of ATP, but we'll see. Yeah, it's weird that this boss only checks ATP. It's just kind of one of those things that's like very unuser friendly. Especially new players. I don't know why it's like it. I hate it though. I feel like I did not damage that at all. Not gonna lie, I felt like I did zero, literally. There we go. I guess that wasn't the worst. Given no ranger, uh, I guess I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, that, that was called brute forcing it. Oh, like, we're, we're gonna get this eventually, I swear. Oh, that damage is really good. GG, Vault Um. Yeah, I know I know Murphy's explanation, but I'm like, why do, why is it when you hit it it doesn't check MST for techniques? Just get brain man and slicer destroy everything, yeah, pretty much. They just kinda shortcut it and then it just kinda screws forces in the late game. It's kind of unfortunate. It's kinda sad. I blame Sega for making it lazy. Um, do I want to dark flow this boss? Oh, the rest of those brutal. Well, now I won't. I'll go up here first. I was gonna. Well, I guess I could still gear us all on the way up here. Once I'm up here, we're gonna stay till we kill the sorcerer. Speaking of which, I need to help the team with that. Last one, please. Level is ultimate unlocked, 80. <laughs> I just felt like destroying the box. That that was disrespectful of me. I didn't have to do that. I was just messing around with it up there. 
the redesigns. It's basically just a skin. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't get your hopes up too high. Oh, nobody cleared this out? Oh. I thought you guys were done. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I want to do the sorcerer check. That could have been much worse. Oh, no psycho one. Rip the psycho one. I'm not going back for that HP material. You can keep it game. I right, well, I'll try to survive with it as long as possible. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't think there's like too many upgrades. Like, I would say episode two probably has more changes comparatively. Because enemies use different types of attacks. I guess like cave lilies, for example, do different things. On higher difficulties, they're actually threatening. Ooh. Hold on, I, I need to concentrate. Cannot look at chat right now. I'm playing don't get hit mode. Okay, I don't have to worry about that one. Let's go this way. Uh, snipe that one. Concentration, there we go. It'll be just be fresh after playing 80 plus hours. Oh, maybe. Oh, I have too much HP, really? Oh, that sucks. Cutscene, please. Perish. So that's what I was mentioning earlier. In multiplayer, I could get away with that. The add-on thing seems to be the wrong version. What do you mean? Repel cleave. I mean, I can repackage it like literally after this if you want. Didn't I have one? Wait, didn't I have one for 2024? I thought I did. If not, I mean, I'll just repackage. I thought I did it after I did the mini map guide. Or I guess that could have been the end of 2023 I did that actually. Yeah, I forget if you need to download anything else with it. I'll repackage it though, Murphy. If, regardless. Because I did do some changes with items. Oh, did you see- did you see Falls try to finish me? I did not appreciate that. Nice try though, Falls. You like that? Reading chat? Reading chat and then immediately try mating on reaction. I knew a dimate would not save me there. Ridiculous, boss. Uh, I think I want to just do this. Oh. That is really, really unfortunate. Well... Rest in peace, me. Yeah, I wasn't expecting somebody to die there. That's okay. I'm dead. Oh. Oh, there we go. And am I being targeted? Are you being serious? That's just rude. Boss is almost dead, at least. Yeah, I forget which one is in the Publix. Let me see what's in the upload. It's possible it's outdated. Oh yeah, that is the Italian in 2023. Okay. I don't think it really changed that much from it. I'm not sure if you need to... 
get any of the other files for it though let me double check sure thing hell thank you for the run let me check real quick <laughs> yeah sadly we had the big panic on uh what to do against vault op although funny enough even with the big panic on vault op it was still basically faster the whole time up until that point which i thought kind of funny Why is this not opening? Apparently it does not want to open. Sorry Murphy, I forget if you need to re-download the base or not. I think if you download literally- if, I think you have to literally take my whole folder. I don't think you could use your old stuff at all. Because that has some of the other stuff in it. I don't know why this is not recognizing my Affinia PSO. There we go. <laughs> Windows being Windows, it's like, I don't know what Affinia PSO is. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure you do. Yeah. Here's what I'll do, Murphy. I'm going to just copy what I have. I don't think I need it. <sighs> I'm trying to see if there's anything I updated in 2024, aside from the kill stuff. No. Made it 2023 add-ons, I'll just do another one. All 2024 add-ons. Welcome, Nango. Hope you're doing well. I'm just helping with a quick issue here. Sorry for the delay. I'm going to give this to Murphy directly. I love how I can find you easier in the other chat than I can on my direct messages. There we go. <laughs> so that's literally what I'm using right now. Okay. So anyway, back to PSO world. So what is what does the chat want to do today? It's XP week. I prefer to play characters that I need to level. So your options are more TTF red ID. Uh, blue ID R uh, RT. You have yellow ID episode four. We'll see where it goes. Rip my money. Yeah, sadly, there's a lot that changed in the base, so I think if the base is not right, it won't work. I just forget if the- I think the base is in the add-on. I don't think there's anything special. The other things. Uh, let's do it. let's do a four-man team of TTF. And then from there, we'll make another decision. I eventually want to do yellow ID stuff. It is the beginning of even beat. Hmm. So maybe we'll do one last CTF and then we'll switch over to episode four, maybe. And I'll play a force into it. I like having my panic twin blaze. New, new backup tech. So if you'd like to hop in, Dango, you're welcome to. I'm gonna communicate with Helkley via the art of dance. There we go.
I did it, chat. I set buttons correctly. Usually it's like this whenever I go to use emotes. Oh, <laughs> low HP. Yeah, that's about right. Did I do that over the sad emote for that? I think I was griefing somebody with it. <laughs> I mean, help me's not bad. Let, let's make it the sad emote, though. I feel like that's more appropriate. There we go. We gotta get Dango's uh, parasitic gene flow at some point. So we'll do a little dance with Dango. I guess the falling down on your butt, it's not quite angry stomp, but it does bring amusement. Welcome, Lantis Greyfield. Thank you for the adventure. I'm going to go play with my fabrics so I could be a pretty princess next month. Well, good luck with the fabrics. Hopefully you've been well. So we'll give Murphy another couple minutes. See if he's able to join. Thank you again, Lantis, for playing earlier. We'll do a little dance. Although I'm sure my settings are very weird. That will probably need to get reset. Hmm. Okay, so let's proceed for now then. Yeah, what I would recommend is if you're still getting that error, I don't have like a lot of mods, so I don't know if you have additional ones, but if you took my folder and it still doesn't work. The only other thing I could think of is there's a base file in Affinia PSO that needs to get updated, which I don't recall offhand. So you would have to go re-download it, whatever it is. Yeah, that's what I was saying. If you don't like literally copy what I have point for point, I don't know what's out of date. And I might not have the mods that you have. But if you just remove it for now, that also works. Plus the latest BB mod folder. Interesting. If you can let me know what folder that uses Murphy, BB mod folder. I could give you that folder if you need it from my setup. Bonk. Oh, I almost got it. I saw the health flicker. So close. Perish. Yeah, I just don't remember where that is offhand. <laughs> I did a video on it once, and my brain is like, I will never have to think about this again. Oh, oh, you're over. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm not using the latest, latest version. Because if you're just using my folders, it has all the cores in there already. You don't have to do anything new. As I said before, it's what I'm running right now. So if you then override it with something, maybe that's what's causing the issue. One, two, three. Oh, why didn't it get... Oh, it's too close to the center. It's unfortunate. 
Rip slime, bro. I didn't dupe you. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe they've updated since I've last touched it. It's been like six months, I think. Not like super, super long ago. But as I said before, if they've done another update since then, that could be the problem. Yeah, map item has no impact. D8 input files, maybe? I'm gonna murder all these slimes in the meantime. Rip slimes. Is the... Hold on, this is really bothering me. Are we gonna get back to real songs? Okay. Sort of. I'll take 30 second loops, but like 6 second sound effect tracks. I'm like, please, please leave that out of your soundtracks. I find that very distracting. Rip the soundtrack though. Uh, the D8 input files, maybe? I'm not sure. I mean, if you want my version of it, I'll just give it to you. Buy your HP. Yeah, it looks like my D8 was updated back in 8.7, but a long time ago. Yeah, I've been touched it since 2022. Welcome, video game boss battle. You're doing well. Sure, I could send that to you in just a moment. So I'm gonna send you literally, so you got my add-on folder. My map items doesn't make a difference. I don't know if you need the voodoo stuff, but that should be defaults. I'll send those in case you need those. And as I said before, I really don't have anything in add-ons. If you have a mod folder, I don't use mods. So I don't know if there's like some other folder I'm not aware of. Because that would also maybe explain why it's acting weird. Let's have some little friendly punching between friends over here. Goodbye, bro bots. I think things are going okay for the most part. We have a very unconventional team currently of uh, Oops All Hunter. Let me get back to the main battle. I sadly do not have a... Oh, they're invisible. Why did I lose control? No! Oh, come on. He got stuck in the doorway? Are you serious? That sucks. That blows. Rip me. Pop that, run from that. Unfortunate. Yeah, that's kind of the downside. If you fall behind, sometimes you get really weird movement from the enemies. It's like he's just wedged in the door when I arrived. Kind of unfortunate. What Sonic soundtrack is this? Oh, take take a guess at Parameter. You have a good chance of guessing it correctly. <laughs> if I told you it came out in 2016, that narrow it down. Spoilers, we're, we're in Rio Olympics. We were getting all the stupid stage complete sound effects earlier. <sighs> a 
got zapped. I need to get buffed at some point. Rip my ATP. I think that's why it took a while. No shifter. Rip. Well, it's time to Vivian, I guess. So I don't really believe in charge disco with no ATP. Why is it targeting everything but the cage? Whatever. Game please. Pop. <laughs> Hell cleave. Oh boy, this is gonna go real bad. Uh Hell Cleave, no, I'm being trolled. Hell Cleave, I really need ATP. Oh, <laughs> uh, there we go. I mean, I'll try to get through. Boxes. Oh, please, please, they TP me. Rip. Don't make me make an emote. <laughs> like, I can't buff myself. There we go. I'm like, I will go into customize as I walk. <laughs> Don't even challenge me. It'll be the most it'll be the most jank emote you've ever seen. But I'll I'll do it live. There we go. Ooh, that was a miss aim on my part. Ooh, they got lord lord towards me. That really sucks, because they don't normally path like that. I think cause somebody ran towards me, they brought them towards me. That sucks. Alright, so I have enough HP. I don't need to gear a soul. Do I have my escape doll or did someone revive me in time? Okay, I still got my escape doll. This will be fine. Yeah, this should be fine. Yes, yeah, so this character will get closer to leveling again. If this character hits 180, it's gonna be like, what a relief. The power spike of Red Ring on this character is going to be unreal. I'll finally have defense, good resistances, and 10 more accuracy over the current item I'm using. So good. Ooh, I don't know why I did that. That was kind of risky. Oh, don't mind me, just weaving through. As long as I'm near one of the heads, we're fine. I don't want to get trapped behind it. I'm to be really careful where I stand here. We're going to come more to the side. Oh, yeah, we're we're not even close to finishing the Olympics. It's like it's like participating in the triathlon, getting through all the Sonic Olympics stuff. You yeah, see how I'm missing some of the hits? Some of that will go away with Red Ring. Not all of it, but 10% is a big increase there. Alright, will we get lucky and finally get to Dark Flow the boss? Almost. Oh? Oh, I should have believed.
That was like the one time I got to Dark Blow the boss on that phase. It's so sad. Ooh, out of range. Getting closer. I'm gonna go to the side here, and then we're just gonna immediately rotate to dodge that. I'm gonna go hard over here, because nobody was over here earlier. I did pull it away from the team, but I took some damage. This could be very bad for me. I'm gonna panic try mate. Ooh, it didn't aim at me. That's good. <laughs> I did take it in the face though, though. There we go. Phase over. Yeah, we're in 2016, so we still have yet another compilation soundtrack coming up. I'm so close to Mag Blast. Invincibility? No? Game hates me, chat. Ooh, out of range. I thought that was in range. That was a waste. That was a big waste. That, I know I'm not in range. We'll do this. Are you targeting me? No? Okay. I'm gonna try mate. And I'm gonna quit vice. Hopefully I can line up with the shot here. Possibly fix it. Congratulations. Rip whoever is soul linked, because I'm definitely gonna kill you. Spoilers. Ooh, my power shot did not get somebody killed. I'm surprised. Must have done just enough. Congratulations, though, Murphy. Hopefully you're doing a little better <clears throat> after some tests. Maybe it'll be working. Not bad XP. I love the twin blaze panic though. <laughs> I'm like I'm I'm a Huka seal fighting a, a machine. What do I do? 60 plane called. I took a photo of I got like two 40 hit arms back to back. I was like, come on. I know. So sad. So I think I'll switch over to Booth Wars. Had my hunter fill for the day. Again, I really want to keep my goal is basically every day to level this character. She already leveled, I think, once today, because she was 172 before. But I think that was off-stream. But again, a lot of these runs will be off-stream. I'm gonna be doing a lot of co-op TTF. Where I think she does fine. Like 1290 ATP where she's at currently is better than most characters. So her uh, Dark Flow hits for decent damage. Not to mention Last Swan, just pew pew pews the boss out of existence. And one thing we have to make sure as a hunter, we go get that quest reward. So sadly, I did use about 50,000 Meseta there, recovering my healing. But it's okay, we'll get like 20k back. better. So let's go to C bank 6? I didn't think about that. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> I only remembered my even number character banks are forces except for bank 8, but I guess I could make that forces eventually to go with the theme. So anyway, let's break out Boy Donna. <laughs> Hour 46 minutes. Level 82 or whatever. Totally fair, chat. Very legit. The power of cookie is real. Oh yeah, that reminds me. For new players that are playing on stream, we owe you a cookie at some point. Now that we have more. 
So we will drop like almost literally everything to do a few cookie runs. So let's see, if I bring in three Heavenly HPs, he could survive the boss. In the meantime, I could double add up V to one. Exactly enough for this strategy. Where one Heavenly HP... F oh, he has one already. Ooh... That's going to be interesting. He doesn't have enough health. He is going to level, though, pretty fast. I'm just thinking. I could do this for now. I saw 7's HP. I just need to make sure I bring my fluids. That's all. Oh, we're running uh, bosses. Yellow ID. So bring in Pew Pew Laser. For episode 4, if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna get some Galatina in, some just general runs with him in general. So Yellow ID episode 4 gets Cannon Rouge from Rare Dwarf on Eclair. It gets Heavenly Power from Zoo, Girasol more importantly from Pazuzu. Then it gets uh, either Galatine or Daylight Scar, depending on what boss we do. Lieutenant Mantle's okay. They did upgrade Yellow ID to get Swordsman Lore versus Gertabulu, which is kind of nice. So at least there's like slightly better item if we do it. It's a good Foey, Rafoey, Rabarda. I'm assuming team is just switching out. Let me know, team, if I did the wrong password or something. Okay, there we go. Foey. Oh, yeah, I'm going to explode if I get hit. There we go. So I'll be in charge of buffs. That way you can yell at me with buffs if I don't buff. Be like, streamer, pay attention. Bad streamer. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Poporgano. Interesting character. I like the head. I believe that is Murphy. Oh, it's in Parameter. My bad. I'll try to remember that head shape for next time. It is a very interesting head. I'm gonna go look at the head shave again. It is oblong. I feel like you're almost disguised like a Baran's. Alright, if I catch what Hellcleave was saying, he said he's gonna put hit on Gaigui Bazooka because it's 15 ATF by Kenrin Rouge. But isn't Gaigui. I was gonna say, isn't Gaigui much weaker though? Only 150 though. Hammerhead, yeah, pretty much. Be you not missing means more truth. <laughs> I was gonna say, I see the raw cast enjoying that, maybe. Raw cast is like, please, please make it stop missing. So yeah, we don't have enough HP to survive this boss. Unless I get another Heavenly HP from somewhere. So I'm going to play a little passive for it, sadly. I thought I had one. I thought I was not already wearing one, but... Oh, actually, no, I have one spare. Never mind. Disregard. I'm good, I'm good. Though I do have a fourth one. We're good. It was on this character already. I was not paying attention. They had streamer. I'll do angry stomps. It's like, wake up streamer, it's force time. I'll buy this. I love just the random Mario. Like, I'll just hear it, I'm like, I know it's Mario.
Misplace your Barange launcher somewhere. It did it have was it Sphered or something? Ooh, it cut off right as I switched. Oh, it was Sphered. Damn. <laughs> like a little mustache on Dango's thing. I do like the Dango emotes. Give them little shout outs. So anyway, Chad, I hope you're ready for next level gameplay. Spoilers, I'm using one button pretty much the whole time. <laughs> for those that have not seen me play this character. So I'm going to choose not to do anything here. Because the best way to win is to not play the game. But in all seriousness, I don't want to accidentally spook the Rappies with Gafoe. So I've trained myself to just not participate. <laughs> Because I will not do that otherwise. Anyway, back to this. I should eventually move the spells around a little bit. But honestly, I mostly just need to know where Gafoe is. We're good. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold one add up so that way I can do more spells. I'll risk getting killed by Dwarfon, but that's fine. It's a little baby steps to the dodge Babuda, don't mind me. I'm gonna believe in the team and killing all the Dwarfons. Can you imagine if that was Dwarfon and Claire, though? It'd be funny. I'm just like, come on, give me it. Give me a can of rouge. I need him so bad. JK. Dwarf on a Claire is a lie. It doesn't exist. <laughs> it's like, oh, are you on an ID that's useful? I don't think so. Better luck next time. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with my mappings currently. I can map some additional buttons on the other control panel. But this is like what I consider the basics to use the character. When he starts getting used more seriously, he'll map things like Gazan, for example, or Barda. Especially if I'm doing single player stuff and I need to stun lock certain things. Sometimes it's just more convenient. He's a couple dive fluids there. Let's sack for the next wave. Thank you, Gafoe. We're gonna go ahead and leave this area because we don't want to get Astarked in the face. I've learned that if I freeze too quickly due to desync, I will not help the team by freezing. That'll help though. Give a little happy Gafoe out for the dwarf on that wants to murder me. Tell him no, real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and run over here. Okay, never mind. Team's got it. Oh, I want none of that. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that didn't hit me. I was on like the tail end of his charge. Holy. I thought for sure I was going to die. Get outplayed, I guess. I mean, I did go on the bridge to dodge it, but wow. Those lingering hub boxes, though, are quite something. Okay, so I should level up soon at least. Somebody else leveled. A little debuff action here. So we're gonna slow the enemies up with Kafoe. Nice level up. I was waiting for that to refill my TP to be honest. Nice. So yeah, arguably I could use HP materials here to make it a little smoother. But honestly, this is fine. With XP week, I'm not that worried about it. Alright, so we know it's going to be a double bad wave, so there's no point to stacking yet. Here's the double bad wave I was talking about. Let's debuff them. We'll do a little bit of help, and then we're going to go back to Gapoe stacking. Oh! I did get hit. That's unfortunate. Leave me alone. Ah, 
I'm just gonna hope that Astark doesn't hit me. Or whatever my game plan is. <laughs> just believe. Best game plan. I think I die here if I get hit, so this will be interesting. I'm gonna do our best to nuke this guy. Oh, killed him with France. There we go. You know what? I'm feeling I'm feeling kind of brave. Let's just double at it. I only need it for the boss anyway. So, oh, streamer bad. I didn't buff you before you went to the next room. I gotta do that now. Streamer got distracted by shiny things. Anyway, back to Gavoi stacking. I love that we're getting like 200 plus XP a second. My absolutely ridiculously weirdly spec Bonuman. Hey, I didn't die on hit. Nice. I think underground I'm sadly gonna have to wear uh, one heavenly HP. But above ground I think I get away with double out of. See, I survived laser. That's all that matters. We're gonna keep stacking because no matter what, there's something that will be hit by fire. Nice freeze. Tell him to get wrecked. Fire does a little damage here. I should have actually die fluided there. That was a small mistake. That's fine. At least I'll get some use of the TP. leveled up <laughs> which is actually improving my damage time to run into it oh let's debuff and run debuff and run time to group i'm gonna choose not to cast kafoe for a little bit but hopefully my other kafoe lingers and disappears oh no they split up oh no we weren't grouped rip I'm so dead. Unless... I got a Valor in there. Oh! <laughs> the laser's coming for me! Get away from me! <laughs> I don't want to get... I want to get insta-killed. Get out of here. Jerk. Oh! Felt like I was playing dodgeball there. <laughs> Just full-screen lasers. Holy... Oh, I want that die fluid for sure. Somebody's possibly gifted me a pity tri fluid, which is good. I do need that. We'll take those. We're not above those. So we gotta be a little more careful here. I think I have to take another heavenly here, sadly. Just so I survive crits from Goron Detonator. So we're gonna go like medium greedy. Up a little bit with this wave, but honestly, it's kind of going into the not our job problem. <laughs> We're just gonna believe in all the hunters and rangers to take care of one detonator. Sometimes zoo. Oh boy, and protect me when this happens. Time to run. Keep up time. We believe in these. Okay. And once the zoos come out, we know the next wave is Marissa. We are well versed in the Marissa wave. So we are going to be stacking for sure right here. We could do some big burst damage to them. Not bad, half their HP. So just a little bit of stalling and they should all fry. Oh, you thought you froze me? Yeah, nice try. We're going to walk forward so that way I could get the Rappies there without not scaring them. It's more XP for us if we do that. It's actually like worth doing if you're trying to level. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Rappy damage, get off of me. Oh man. But anyway, the barehanded Gafoe casting is real. And again, I feel like I'm actually doing some damage here. It's not like I'm holding the team back. I'm getting the buffs. Doing some debuffs. Very rarely healing, mostly just focusing on damage.
Nice level up from the team. Like my little kick in the air there. Heal the team up. Oh, my favorite room. Love this room. So this next wave is kind of scary for me because it's Goron Detonators. We're just going to hopefully debuff and don't die. Okay, we mission accomplished. We didn't die. That's all we needed. After that, it's all up to the team. We'll help a little bit with Razans just to throw out some chip damage. But we need to start stacking for the next wave. Hopefully we don't get targeted too badly here. Mercers are in the middle. So I think we did okay damage to them. That wasn't too bad. And again, like, we just need more levels for damage. And the more we're able to wear our add-ups, the more we can save time with TP and maybe a little extra damage. On the plus side, though, I'm at almost the perfect HP to manipulate to always get knocked down by laser. So that way, if I'm at 870-something, it should just always trigger my mag. Although I have my Rappy mag, actually. I should have switched mags. Disregard. That, that strat only works when you have Nidra. Because I can abuse the fact that I have iframes from the mag invincibility. Because every hit the boss will do will trigger it. Which is a lot of attempts at getting it. This is okay. Ooh, we believed in the team on that one. That could have gone real bad for me. But again, the quest is phenomenal. We're getting like almost 250 XP a second right now. And some of it's us. Like we're holding the team back a little bit. We'll try to grant a little. Still got three minutes on that buff timer. Not too bad. Oh, it's triple tri-fluid. Um, drop two, pick up three. So that works. So yeah, we're going to be leveling basically near constantly until we get closer to 90. Then we'll be at our sweet spot for HP for a while, which will feel good. Let's deep up the prowl, a couple of zaps. Our second Gafoe. So that way it'll stop the Zeus. Stacking Gafoe. Well, I think this wave it doesn't need it, technically. Yeah, I guess I don't need to help there. Oh, we got a couple of key freezes. Love to see it. So lore. Gafoe. Think you got your binds back. Congratulations, Murphy. Ooh, nice little more MST. We're at 700 HP right now. So we need like a few more levels to... Hopefully he's out of range. Hopefully he's now back in range. Never mind, still out of range. Ow. I was like, I was like looking at Hellcleave. How did that not reach? Can please. I remember if you're using bumper or trigger. Oh, you mean when you hold control? I usually use uh, trigger. Only because the back buttons, I feel, more naturally work for uh, like a controller swap. Because I think by default, the controls for PSO will make it so like R1 is your control. Without you needing to do anything. So we're going to maneuver through. We're going to get our debuffs in. There we go. We've assisted the team. Got a couple of sacks sacks for the next wave, but not the best. I'm going to use a Rafoe here to speed it up. Oh, I don't have Rafoe. Note to self. Fix that mapping once we're done with this room. That would explain some things. I thought I just missed input before, and I'm like, oh no, wait, I only have Gafoe on the menu. Yeah, like, 
like we're doing enough damage they barely need to assist with Marissa, so that's a good sign. Hello. I'll donate. I got nothing better to do. <laughs> oh my, it's fine. Oh boy, this could go really bad for me. The moment of truth. Whenever you see a non gelled enemy swing at me, I'm like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking. Alright, so now I can afford to stack a little bit here. Uh, I actually, I'm just shortcutting it in the bottom right. The bottom right doesn't matter. The bottom right should eventually be heavy attack. It's because I didn't use Rafoe at all while we were power leveling. I'll show you what it should look like normally. But once we're done with this room, let's level up. I think my defense is going to stop me from dying, although I am using regular frame here. All right, team's got this. Let's let's fix this. So if I go into this menu, it should be... It should be four... Five, six... Seven. No, 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 it should be, I'm sorry, it should be five, six, seven, eight. Then I gotta fix my revive. Yeah, that looks right. And then I can also just put Rustle there, I guess. Honestly... You know what I should be doing? I should probably be putting Ryuker here. So just have access to it. I think it used to pressing that input though. Kind of awkward. Kind of a weird input. Not sure I like that. Anyway, we're learning. Alright, so we need to survive the boss. So let's go... Full HP. There we go. Yeah, I wanted to... Yeah, I wanted to bind the back button. I didn't fix this one. I guess I could fix this one now. It doesn't really hurt. This is what it normally is for Murphy. I normally have my guide techniques on the control. It's usually how I have it set up. But since I've been using the technique window, it doesn't matter. Oh, you have level 31 shifted D-band. That's actually higher than mine. I could assign regular Foey, I guess, on my normal buttons. It helps with St. Million a little bit. Uh-oh. Two people did not... Oh no. Am I the only one fighting the boss? Oh, this sucks. I see three people moving. That's not a good sign. Well, pray for me, chat. Teleport, I dare you. There we go. I even purposely took it slower to the boss. That's the worst part. There we go. Again, I don't really need Rafoe in this quest except for if I have if I'm a faux Newman, I'll use Rafoe, or if I'm getting blocked by a spinner, I'll use Rafoe. But this quest is so one button dependent that it just doesn't matter. I gotta fix my quick technique menu at some point as well. I actually don't want anything on my control panel, if chat is curious. I think that's a good habit to break. Like the, nothing important should be on your control panel. Or else you're just gonna mag blast randomly. On the plus side, I'm gonna get free healing randomly thanks to my mag. Assess damage with it. You can tell if I got it or not because the mag will start dancing. Yeah, Hulkleave doesn't need to worry about healing. I I I'll cover his healing. Between the Rappi and everything else, we'll be good. There we go. I'll do one Rabarta here. Oh, I went... Uh... I think we could keep it there. It's not too bad. I say I managed to save part of it with the Grants. I almost activated Dolphin in time, even though I do no damage. 
I'm going to choose to, to dodge the giant laser. I choose not to participate in that room. <laughs> Hello, spinners. Don't mind me, just regenning TP. Oh, I wanted to dolphin. I wanted to dolphin. So close. <laughs> I just wanted to get the wiggles. Rip me. I'm pointing. I'm like, that's where I want my galatine. It's easy. Just make the galatine run over in one attempt. Right, chat? Isn't that how it works? Nice level up. So that was 321,000 experience. What a quest. I do like Rafoe for box popping. I think for that escape doll. And another revive. So anyway, back to uh, the V801 double add-up life. It's so greedy. Because if I get hit at all, I just die, which is hilarious to me. <laughs> That's when you know you don't care. You're like, you're, I'm, I'm like, I'm all good. We'll do another episode four run. Uh, what did I want to? Oh, I can't fix it here. That's right, I have to be in the overworld. So I want to rearrange my techniques a little differently. So like what I would recommend for people that are looking to be more serious than I am at the moment with forces, your first technique should probably always be Gazond. Rafoe should be within two inputs because Rafoe is also pretty quick. Um, your basic techniques should also not be too far away. I like to keep them at the bottom of the screen. And then your other ones usually don't matter. You could put like Razond within three, it's probably fine. Or honestly, if you're playing single player and don't care, you could just hard attack Razond like this over and over. The reason I kind of like doing uh, the manual input, even though it's more buttons, is if I do get knocked down, I can react to that differently than if I'm in this menu, because then I'm like panicking and then I'm like trying to go back in here really quickly. Whereas like I could choose to either do a slower mash versus getting the guaranteed buffer or go for healing or anything else. Dango's got to go for a bit. Are you free to hop in, Murphy? Although I'm not looking at who's in the game currently. I see Kushun is here. Welcome. I was going to say, I think that's Murphy's character. No worries, no worries. I'm looking on the right side of my screen. Although my screen extends to OBS. <laughs> so I'm looking at OBS. I wasn't looking at who was in the game. But anyway, we got a level more so we can eventually use a mother garb or something. Oh, the music died. Rip music. He died on Macarena Prize Machine. Anyway, I think we're good to go. No worries. Thank you again, Hulkly, for always supporting the stream and being willing to jump out as needed. So we'll do a couple more, and then I think what'll happen is, at some point, we'll switch quests. <clears throat> I'm not sure it'll be cookie quests or not, but TBD. Forgot to grab your strikers. Whoops. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm using my Rabarna merch still. Let's go fix that in a moment. It's not like I participate in the first wave anyway. There we go. Do a little swap here. Look at that. Learning our buttons. We're doing it. We're going to debuff for the team. Hmm. Yeah, so I went Foey probably near the bottom of the list. The debuffs, I feel like, don't really matter. Maybe something like... Oh, I'm getting hit. 
<laughs> Don't mind me, it was just casually rearranging things. So I could move Gafoe in a way that's a bit more convenient. I'm just thinking about if there's anything else I really want to change. Like, I don't use Gabarda at all. That's a dead technique. Grants and Megid are not, like, immediate picks. But I should probably have them near the top of the list. Again, every character I do is a little different, because I just usually update it, like, once in a rare while. Hello, Rianov, that nobody wants. Get some debuffs here. Back to Gaboe's second. So at least this way, if I need to chain Gazan, for example, for Volt Op or Goron Detonator, at least have the option to do so. Although it's important I probably put Foey in a fast place, because you can see that's kind of like a quick response to bad enemies. Don't mind me, just picking up some fluids. So we're going max greed mode. Probably 18 MST is okay. So we're just going to go for debuffs here. We'll stack on the next wave. Once we debuff. The team should be able to kill the Astark fairly quickly, especially if I debuff. Don't need to worry about too much assistance there. There we go, like half HP them, that wasn't too bad. Nice level up. Yeah, Gabarda can be banished to the middle of the list. I do not care about that ability whatsoever. Just kind of like the buffs and debuffs. They're pretty safe to put in the middle. Because honestly, if I don't have the ability to fast cast them, I don't even see what the point is of having them in any other slot. I gotta, I'm not going to quick menu them for sure. I mean, I guess in theory you could. I just don't think it's wise. Uh, let me replace regular Gafoe with Foe here. Since I'm not using heart attacks yet. Oh, I left a skip doll behind. Let me go grab that. So yeah, XP gain is a force. Phenomenal. I just gotta occasionally buff the team. They're gonna hard carry. Regardless of Pew Pew Laser. Rebuff the team, get some debuffs, heal the team, get a freeze, go back to Kafoe stacking. Like, technically, if I want to make my life easier, I can move Kafoe higher. But, like, from the best practice, I should get used to menuing at least three or four inputs for Kafoe. Because it is a very slow spell, so it's like it's not super high priority. But the thing is, is if you get interrupted in your casting this way, you don't want to make it take too long to reach either. Okay, two bad waves back to back. Just gonna make sure we do what we can to debuff. One zap, two zap. Oh no, we're being bullied. Rip me. And again, I don't need to hit my ult command as much. I'm, used, I'm just used to menuing for Gafoe at this point. Let's keep stacking. So every level up is like probably about a damage or so extra. Which adds up when you stack like eight Gafoe's. Speaking of which. That Dorfon does not like me. Go away. Let's see. Get the mono grinder. I don't think I need the Gazant. I definitely want the power material. Pick up a trimate. That way, if the team needs them later, we should be fine. Oh boy. There we go. Yeah, I think we'll go until at least even beat ends. Oh, I feel like we give a episode 4 a fair shot. 
It is fun. It's just more fun when you have full range of options. Although I do like playing cast in episode four. There's something I didn't think I would get into, but mm. Freeze traps and then high priority targets like Astart kills or zoos. Actually, I like that a lot. Nice level up. So again, we're getting slightly more defense, so crits will not burst us, necessarily. Small HP increments, too. You can see, like, we're missing the kill by, like, 20, 57 damage. That's honestly, like, within 5, 6 levels that'll go away. Because, again, you have to think about it this way. If they get hit by at least 3 Bifoes, and I'm doing 5 more damage a hit, that's up. Oh, team is not grouping. This is a little scary. I died due to the no grouping. Rip me. I'm so dead. I'm about to get punished maximum for my greed. Rip my escape dolls. Oh, I'm so dead again. I don't think I could dodge this. Unless... Oh, paralysis. We like that. There we go. Anything I want to switch for now? Again, it's mostly just the reverse or stuff. Me getting grants should probably go higher. Razan should be higher. Honestly, I have to kind of check out my other forces and feel like what makes sense for me. Like, I think always Rifoe Gazan for me makes sense there. Like, I have Gafoe fourth here, which might not be bad to just do, honestly. Because I think even in the other setup, it's four away, and by default, Gafoe's here. I think it's a little easier to menu too. It's not bad. Oh, we gotta work. A little further forward and for better stacking. Let's do this again. By satellite lizards. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm not in range of the other attacks. So we know it's going to be Marissa wave, so we're just going to keep stacking. <laughs> we're going to leave in the team. We'll do little chip damage to the zoos and prevent them from fireballing. But more importantly, we got these stacks for the Marissas. Oh, hey! That was like two-thirds of their health. That's GG for them. So our damage is definitely improving. Walk forward so the Rappies don't run. Ooh, slightly too slow. I tried. Decent damage on the Marissas. I'll drop Trimates, I think, at the end of the quest. So they pick up some. So for here, we're just looking to stun lock. Nice level up. Debuff. Yeah, I think, I think that's what my strat is. If I go, like, roughly to stun, like, the zoos, if I hold forward and then debuff, even without Glide Divine, I have everything I need. Ooh, to be careful here, I wasn't stacking Kofoe. To be a little risky. But we got a freeze. Never mind, we're good. Thank you, freeze trap. Goodbye, Marissa's. Perish to the flames. Rip teammate. Buff group. Ooh, look at that damage when they're undebuffed. Holy. And that's why frame plus basic barrier will usually result in death here. Fortunately, we have Jelen. 
So if we do think we're going to get hit, we can try to react to it. Almost one shot the Rappy Wave. So again, we just need like another 100 or so on MST and we should be good. Then we'll be doing roughly 20 extra. So five stack of foes is 100 damage. these enemies. Oh, uh, let's get these. Come on, run away. Ooh, pop down drop. I gotta go back for that. Uh, escape door? Yeah, we'll take that. Do regular fireballs on them for a moment, let the team catch up. I mean, technically, I could leave Zon and Barda there as well. It's just that Foey is not in the right place for anything else. Give up time. Nice materials dropping. destroyed there for a second. Let's participate a little in that fight. Okay, team's got this. Participation no longer required. Again, I should have dive looted there, but that's fun. A little more defense, not bad. We so far have not been crit to death. We've only been set damage to death. I'm kind of happy about it. It means we're playing decent. We're not getting instantly exploded by crits. Some debuffs going. Let's resolve. Between those Jalors and Jelens, we should be fine. Goodbye, Goron Detonator. So if we see a Swordsman lore, that would be a first for me on Gurdubulu. And definitely Yellow ID Galatine, I'm pretty sure I've never received. I've gotten Green ID Galatine before, but... That was before the item became worth using, sadly. So I think once we're done with the boss battle, I think I'm going to move Rafoe. Or not Rafoe, I'm going to move Rizond in a way that I can use it faster. So that's another core skill that I think is worth spamming. Take that, Marissa's. Stack damage is real. You're in combo kill range now, GG. We got body there, but we did what we needed to do, which was debuff. I believe we could get away with a couple Kofoes here for extra damage. That'll help with combo kills. I'm so happy team killed that. I was like, I'm, I'm committing to my damage. I'm not stopping. Rip Gurdubulu. Erish. 40 hit Vulcan. No special. So sad. So much potential chat. All wasted. Team. 
a couple dye fluids. Switch to Rufoe. That should be good. Yeah, we'll we'll save uh Dolphin. Dolphin is like the great equalizer. So I can use it to fix the boss if we get desynced on my side. Or for the people that are waiting in the main room, Dolphin will uh one shot it if we donate. Dolphin damage is real. Okay, so I'm gonna go for Oh I got hit and killed instantly. Somebody stood too close to me, Rip. Yeah, that's kind of the unfortunate thing. That can happen. If players are too close together, multiple spinners can hit you frame one and kill you. It's not a thing you have to worry about in single player, but multiplayer, it is ultra deadly. So if you're wondering why I died there, but not to the other one, it's because I got hit by two. One from mine, one from somebody else's. And I got Exodia obliterated, ripped my HP. I guess I'll switch over to more heavenlies. Is 30 enough? Might not be. We'll put it on a safety heavenly. We're like a couple levels from it not mattering. The problem is like, I think Shamburden does more and St. Million does less, weirdly. Oop, the little dance. Ooh, Brave Soul going straight towards it. Yeah, I've taken some damage, that's fine. I almost have Mag Blast because I'm getting hit for like a billion damage. Speaking of which. Put some Zalora in here. Participate, help with some heals. I did just get Mag Blast. As long as I don't do anything too crazy, I will not desync it. I could play pretty, pretty safe. Because I'll be reviving Help Leave repeatedly. Unfortunately, Murphy died. Couldn't reach Murphy. Ooh, one more laser should kill. One more. Never mind. I'll just, I'll do it myself. It's fine. <laughs> I got it. Oh, I'm donating for real. Whoever whoever dolphins, I'm joining. Oh, it, oh, it's real. <laughs> Big dolphin energy chat. GG, it's over. As long as this is lined up correctly, this is over. Is that donation plus this? GG. Oh, the whiff. That is so sad. It's not lined up correctly. I think the problem is, like, if the boss dips downwards, the boss can dodge the dolphin. Unfortunately. Boss is too good. Anyway, I'm gonna point where I want the Galatine. The GG though. I only need 9,000 to level, so I should just level instantly here. There we go. Oh, wait, did I level twice? Attack eight, defense four, MSC 10. <laughs> there you go, chat. The rare double level up. How many times do you see that when you level? Just not even one by one, just all at once. Double level up. Try fluids, don't need those. This team need uh trimates, by the way. We're kind of hoarding them. I'm gonna leave them like here if somebody needs them. Unless nobody else is oh maybe it's only us here. Whatever. I'll hold them for later then. So we're at three scape dolls. I'm gonna put some of this away. I have my basic mag. I guess I could keep it, question mark. But yeah, now we're starting to get a lot of stats, which is nice. So we're still in even B territory, so we'll do another one. It's not even 80 yet on the clock. And again, this 24,000 Masetta we got just for playing the game. 
We don't even have to sell anything. Horse life is easy sometimes. Yeah, I really don't want anything on the back panel. I want to train myself to just never use it. Unless it's like seriously not often used, like Ryuka or something. I guess that would be an okay position to put it. I just don't want to get used to putting healing there or a critical spell. Because I'm definitely going to get mag blasts all the time. So let's switch back to double adepts. There we go. Look at that TP regen. Ooh, TP. Angry stomps, of course. Not bad, not bad. We'll give the team some time. I'm assuming they're just selling items. We're gonna quit the Kafoe merge since we're here. Oh, you found the uh, Sphered Brand Slot Nice. Big damage. There we go. Squad has arrived. A great week to level up an ult force. Get some decent rares. Help the other team level their ults. Hopefully, we're getting closer to the magic number of 180. Again, we don't need to necessarily participate in this. So we're always at the bottom. Probably want my Zahn down here. Barda. Fix the rest in a moment. And we should probably put Razan up there. Is there anything else I want? Probably Foey. Foey third, maybe? I'm just trying to rational rationalize it a little bit. I don't need the simple text for the most part on this character, so their order doesn't matter to me. They're kind of interchangeable. Like, we do sometimes use Foey legitimately. We definitely use Rafoe a lot, we use Rizond a lot, we use Gazond a lot. Rabarda is another one where I need it there. Maybe it should be like. It should be like Rizond here. Rabarda is next. And it could be Grant's higher. Because Grant's takes forever to cast. Negad. Could technically go down here if I wanted to. Actually, Negad should not take that long to cast. Sorry. Do something like this. This would make sense. I'll try something like this. The simple text I don't plan on using, so they're not optimized for it, sadly. Anyway, let's go participate. Hello, Gabarda. You know what? I'll learn you. Pretty sure I don't have any of it learned. Take this and run. 
trying to think if that's worth it. I could move... Grants me get a little bit. Yeah, Grants also has a pretty big wind down. I flip these two. Not sure I like menuing that much for Rabarda. I'll think about it. I could put Rabarda under Gazange and put Megid Grants where they are currently, but I kind of like the raw techniques near each other. I'll flip these. Yeah. I don't know. Again, it's very subjective. I mean, it's just to the point where I have to think about how many inputs I need. I'm just thinking about it as we play. It's something I mess with every now and then. Since so this character is fresh, it's some time to think about it. Megan's one of those ones where I do need it to be pretty quick. Grants can afford to be lower. Foley, if I want to use it seriously, should be higher. Or I'll use simple techniques for it. I don't know. Because again, basically the ones that are like really fast to cast, you want to have it within two input, within three inputs or less. So you could either hit like. Down, down, confirm, or like up, 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 confirm, or something like that, but you don't want to go more than that. This is just hard to do it quickly. That kind of thing. Anyway, let's go back to Kafoe stacking. Nice level up. Yeah, the Gazan Rafoe I feel very confident about. The other ones, not so much. Ooh, my material? Nice. Also, I should be picking up more grinders. Oh, it's just a big material, whatever. Why do I have regular telepipe? I'll need them. Anyway, let's rebuff the team. Yeah, it's kind of like cure, anti, buffs. They could go dead center in the list. I never want to fast cast those. What are the other ones I'm worried about? Yeah. I'm just thinking from a memory standpoint, I could think like all my raw techniques are down here. It might be easier for me to remember. Like, that's not bad, for example. It's not like a memory perspective. Anyway, back to stacking. Yeah, Kafoe can afford to be very deep in a list. I just don't want to menu as much, honestly. Things like Grants and Kafoe are pretty slow, so if they're like five or six inputs, I don't think it's a problem. I do think it is a problem because like if you have something like Foe and you want to use it quickly, putting it like seven or eight inputs deep is too deep. You're just not going to be able to input it that quickly, I don't think. Unless you have some really godly input speed. I'm a little worried because team uh, is not grouped again. Uh, hold the door fun here. I'm so dead, by the way. Oh, we're not. Failed out. Oh. Heal and taunt. Oh my gosh, the laser snipe me. Rip me. There we go. I was trying to trying to play the game with one hand for a moment there. Or 
Reapply my buffs. Gotta be, be real, been on autopilot. No worries, I'll leave. I was also messing around trying to reformat things. It helps to an extent, but I feel like it's something that I'm gonna revisit like every few months and say like, what do I feel work, what didn't. if it's better to put me getting grants at the bottom. Like, even though it makes sense that they're there, at the same time... It's more inputs. By Rappies. Welcome Promethean, hopefully you're doing well. This is not a cookie run indeed. Just good old episode four. Still even be. My target was already dead before I could grants. Nice. Look at Hellcleave profiting from the run. Good job, Hellcleave. Take that run. <laughs> About time it drops something for somebody. Stupid run. So I'm gonna unlock the last one? Well, now you can unlock two. Suka dropped. Which might be fodder for items. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move me getting grants down. And leave the Rebarda Razan there, because then it's one less input. And that means I have more leniency with the speed at which I need to input. Whereas Grants takes like forever. Grants could go as deep in the list as I needed to go. If I need to rapid can't rapid cast grants, something is wrong. It's more just if I forget to assign it or something weird. Never mind, GG. Yeah, I'm not sure what our next cookie run will be, honestly. I mean, I, w I wouldn't say no to like more V502 attempts or something. I'm not looking for another Excalibur. I technically have them, I just need to unlock them. Mm. Back away from the group. There we go. Yeah, I think right before the boss, I'm gonna fix my setup then. Based off of just personal feel. I read what Healthy wrote, and my brain did not translate a single word of that. TP. Was that total party kill? My brain saw the acronym and I did not read the rest of the sentence. <laughs> it's just like, I do not do well with acronyms. I'm like, wait, TPK. Oh, you didn't mean to do that, but that was just for TP. Nice level up. Um, I don't know if items dropped because I was behind or not, to be honest. 
I was more looking at my menu and not looking at the minimap. I am really lucky I didn't die there. We'll take that though. Yeah, like here it would have been useful if I had the Razan set up correctly. Oh well. We'll fix that soon enough. Don't need these. Could use that HP though. Yeah, fortunately I should level again no matter what here. Where's Hel oh there's Hellcleave. Oh like where's Hellcleave relative to me? Like wait a minute. Like you will not dodge my buff for long. So yeah, we'll go fix that after this. We'll clean up this room first. 270 XP a second, disgusting. Given how, like, not efficient I'm being with my spells, that's pretty gross. Team's hard carrying. Good job, team. Like, two thirds of the versus health. That's not too bad. Again, combo kill territory. Okay, we're gonna debuff into double debuff. Double freezes. Back to Gafoe. Debuff, debuff, Gafoe stacked on. And here's where we hope we never get struck. Worked out that time. Alright, so we're gonna swap. Gazan, Razan, Rabarda. Maybe I did something like that before? Hello, Mind Materials. Thank you for those. Did the music fall asleep? <laughs> I heard the bump, 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 and it just stopped. There we go. So, I need to... Well, I can get away with just one Heavenly HP now, I think. Maybe? We'll find out in a moment. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? Since I didn't count last time, let's just do this. Yeah. See, the problem is, I think... I think it's Shemberton that does 870, and I think St. Million's 840. But every time. And then Spinner kills me randomly. Ooh, orange is over here. Oh, we're one hit away. So unfortunate. Got it this time, though. 530 PDs worth of cookies. That sounds like an extreme cookie addiction. Are you okay there, Promethean? I almost thought the boss was gonna hit me on the way up. I'm not gonna lie. I have I have taken damage from this phase, like this cinematic before. <laughs> I thought for sure it was gonna whip it up and just kill me. I was fortunately not in front of it in a bad way. So let's switch over to Rebarda. Um Sure, we'll brave a V801 maybe. Okay. Eight seventy two for Shamberton, thank you. Because I think that's what threw me off with some of my calculations before, where I was like, why is this killing me? Is this Shamberton trolling? Damn, no mag invincibility trigger? That's hateful. Base tank for the party, heal up. Oh! Almost. Nice job, team. Nice job. Don't worry about me. Just take it in the face. Like a boss. Oh no, the buffs are off. Rip and parameter. I'll take laser on purpose. Or you just miss me. Whatever, boss. <laughs> I wanted to get knocked down for my little cutscene. I see how it is. 
But anyway, potentially time for another double level up. Let's see, will it happen again? Will I hit 100? I'm at 98 currently. Oh, just one level up. 7,000 shy of double level up. So sad. But hey, on the plus side, I can almost survive Shamberdin. <laughs> right, chat? Progress. I did it. Sadly, nobody got a Galatine. To no one's surprise, we did not get Contryu. But let's open at least a Galatine would show up. So I guess we'll switch it up. Since it's basically the end of even beat anyway. I don't think in six beats we could complete another one of those. Or K off a 176. Oof. So wait for now. Don't need these. I could leave one heavenly on him. Got two levels from these few runs. I mean, the XP in episode four is bonkers. I'm not surprised. Oh, oh, chat! I get. Oh, chat! Let's. We're buying it. We're buying Megan level seven. There we go, chat. We've learned Megan. We're we're now officially a force. <laughs> Top tier. Are there any four slot frames that I could just buy real quick? Nope. It's fine. I mean, it, it's kind of hard not to upgrade over basic frame, to be fair. Do I have any random four slaughters this character can use? <laughs> Technically, Dress Plate is a random four slaughter. I am the right level to start using the cloaks. Hmm. Nah, that's fine. I think I just need to get out slots. And I have bronze badges for that, potentially. So I can make a Tempest Cloak on the yellow ID character. Feels kind of fitting. Is at least I do use Gazan Razan sometimes, and I use it a lot if I'm doing a uh, forest. Okay, so now we have to decide what to do. I'm assuming we might switch to cookies, but what cookie we're going to do is a question mark. So I'm going to quit out for now and think about it. See bank four. Actually, I'll leave it on six for now. So I guess the question is, since we're welcoming Murphy back, we'll ask Murphy first and then we'll go around and see what rares people want. What rares did you want, Murphy? I know you're grabbing the Heaven Striker, but let us know. Then Dango, I think you're looking for Parasitic Gene Flow, but let me know what other rares that potentially we could get with cookies. And then I'm assuming if we did it with Promethean, if I had to guess, it would probably be Tower, because you get paid back? That'll be my logic. <laughs> Or more Heaven Striker. You have no idea what you can get with cookies? I'll put it this way, any rare that is not a boss rare. <laughs> been a while since you've been playing. So there's things like, let, let's go through a list of items that potentially people would be interested in. There are... Heaven Strikers. Technically, you could do Cannon Rouge. Most people don't do that. You could go for uh, Sky ID Surface Episode 4 for uh, more Excaliburs if you need those. From Episode 2, generally it would be White ID Tower since it's pretty strong. I think you could, in theory, also do uh, Blue ID Seabed for a Cycle Wand. As an example, or if you're feeling masochistic, you could go for uh, Lily Purple ID in caves. If there's anything you want in ruins, for example, that would be doable. So like Yellow ID has basically everything 
<laughs> possible. Uh, but you might, if you're going for Psycho One specifically, might make more sense to do Green ID, I think. Or Red ID if you don't care about certain drops. So those are the ones that I know offhand. Technically, you could do like a Temple Episode 2, I guess. Or, 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 if you're looking for Daylight Scar, that I forgot, cookies are actually good for a uh, spaceship. So if there's anything you wanted specifically in spaceship, it will probably drop it for you. You just have to let us know what ID it is. Just because that quest has like such a high enemy density that there's no way it's not the number one for like basically every hunt. I, I just, unless it's a reset run, I don't think anything's competing with it. Wouldn't mind hunting lames, but another V101 would be good too. It's been a minute. Okay. So if you want, what we're going to do, we're going to pause the recording since we're going to go into cookie mode. We'll split it up a little bit. So let's, let's say goodbye to you two for now. We'll have like a part two for this. So we're going to do some cookie runs and then uh, we're going to pick the quests in just a moment. But... I think overall the runs went fine. We got a lot, a lot of XP. So that's all we're really looking for, honestly, during XP week. Lord, I need that list written down, but I'm too busy for the night, so I can't hop on. Oh, sorry, Dango. Yeah, we'll get you in the future, Dango, for whatever you want. So if you were doing your Gurren runs or whatever, I mean, you just do it in cookies, honestly. But anyway, we're going to take a break here. And then we're going to come back. We're going to start some cookies. But for now, thank you, YouTube. If you did get to this point in the video or the VOD, thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.